You know, spinning clay is mesmerizing. It's fascinating. And it fascinated me. And I just wanted to learn how to do it. I came to pottery late in life at the age of 57. My husband bought me um, a set of videos and he set up my studio. And so I would come in, watch the videos, go out and try. And I just kept on doing that. I hear stories from my mom and grandmother that I wanted to do ballet before they even knew that I was aware of what ballet was. By the time that I was five, we were able to get into a Christian ballet studio in my community, and that was it. I don't really have a first memory of getting into music and falling in love with it. My family played a lot of music. Um, they're not really musicians, but they really appreciate and enjoy music. So it was always in the house. I remember very clearly, actually, I was like 10 years old, and I remember like yanking my dad's arm, like, Dad, like, let me play for everybody. Like, I, I want to sing for y'all. And it was terrible. It was awful. Like, <laughs> I think there's a video of it on YouTube. I've trained in the RAD and Shaketi as well as the Vaganova methods of classical ballet. And so I have spent a good 25 years training in classical ballet as well as other forms of dance most of my life. I had to learn to control the clay instead of the clay controlling me. I would begin to, for example, try to throw a cup. It would end up as a jar <laughs> or a bowl. I was determined to master the wheel, and so I really wasn't intimidated by it. I love Austin. It's been super cool to be saturated in the city in the music. It's perfect for musicians. The first time I heard my song on the radio was a really surreal experience. The radio host, her name is Laura Slow, um, she'll have Texas-based artists, and she'll play their music. Whenever I'll release something, I'll send it her way, and she'll play it on that show that she does. Some of the things that I love the most about dancing is I just get to be completely free, fully myself, and fully free to worship God with all of my body. I really love making functional pottery. Coffee cups, bowls, oil dispensers, honey jars, things like that, that people use in their everyday lives. I think using a pottery mug or a pottery bowl is a special thing because I think it elevates the mundane into an experience. Do I, succeed or I, I think what I love most is creating something that wasn't there and like putting it out there. And I think lyrically, it is one of the best ways that I can like articulate exactly what I feel and what I think, because that's not something that comes naturally to me. Classical ballet, it's very demanding and rigorous, and perseverance is one of the biggest character traits that's going to help you to be successful when you literally fail um, to keep going. When things get challenging, if it's teaching students or running a business or just getting myself on stage for that next dance, when it gets hard and when I want to quit and those thoughts happen, when I check my feelings to my purpose and what God's called me to do, it helps me to continue on. There are times where I'm super inspired by a person or a song and that makes me want to create and, and make something. Um, but other times I just don't want to, and it's, it's not always uh, natural. So sometimes I just have to sit down if I don't want to and just make something.
when I hit my teen years, that's when I really encountered Jesus in a personal way where he really revealed his nearness and his closeness and that he's my friend. And I developed a hunger to just make my life for him and to live my life fully for him. I know that God is with me. I think it can be hard to feel at times, but it's super loving of him to be able to feel him in his presence with me. I was raised in a church going home, but I didn't become a believer until I was 27. I'm still learning who Jesus is to me, I think, and still learning to believe what's true about him and his posture towards me as his friend and his son. When I dance, it's for him, and I do believe that brings him joy. <laughs> That's a good one. I definitely believe my passion for music and creating was instilled in me. It's not on my own. I think God creates people with uh, creative gifts because he's a creative God. And I think that he finds joy giving a little bit of himself into his creation on earth to express his creativities. I think God delights in watching us create. He doesn't make us all the same. He makes each one of us unique and different with a different set of gifts and talents. A person's creativity can really glorify God. Without him, there's not meaning or purpose in anything that I do. And so anything that I do that um, there is a celebration of victory or success, he's the root behind it. I don't think God made me to be a musician. I think he made me to be a son. And you know that's like where my identity should be placed. It shouldn't be placed in my own abilities or gift or musicianship. I think God has a plan for my life. And I want to be, I want to be moldable. I don't want to be stubborn and stiff so that he has to really apply lots of pressure. I want to be like moldable clay in his hands so that he can do what he wants to do. My hope for the future with God is just to be shown who he is and who I am in him and grow in him and whatever it is that I'm doing. I think my biggest dreams for my future as a dancer would just be that people will not see me, but that they will see him through me, that he gets all the glory as I tell his story through my dancing.